We have a couple of challenges. One of them is that so much of our, so oh, sorry. I'm sorry, so many of our materials are hands-on that one thing we've noticed is that when they get to the I-STEP test and everything's paper and pencil, they struggle a little bit. They might know how to do the concepts. They surely can do add numbers that are even bigger than the ones that are on I-STEP, but it's that transfer of doing things just with paper and pencil and not having their materials next to them. We find that to be one of our biggest challenges. So, I guess, how are you able to kind of balance meeting those state requirements and dealing with all the state requirements? It's a constant struggle for our, for our teachers. They're trying much more um, to stay true to Montessori yet to bring a little bit more of the paper and pencil in as far as recording what they're doing, um, showing them how to do the same math with the materials, and paper and pencil at the same time. Um, especially as they get into second and third grade, we're finding that the teachers have seen more success with the students when they transition them a little bit more to paper and pencil, but still not losing the the joy that they get out of using their hands and manipulating the materials that we have. Do you think this, um, do you think funding could be a solution? Funding of, well, in what way? In funding for, for the schools, for the facilities that you build. I don't know if that's necessarily the issue. I think that, the, in my opinion, the broader issue is that these are little children, and thinking of one test representing all that they know um, is might not be the best accountability model to to see what children know. Of course, and you've seen examples where you can. I had a student um, in my class last year who was a very bright student. Um, he excelled, and he was doing fifth grade reading fifth grade math as a third grader and he came down to the I step and he got so anxious for the test that he um, wasn't able to take all of it and that doesn't show our school what we're what we're capable of doesn't show um, what that student was capable of it just showed that he had some test anxiety right. so we're looking at the back area mm -hmm. Go ahead. <laughs> the state's grading system and not hmm. meeting its re revision of a lot of the curriculum has knocked down a lot of other kids. And so maybe you don't have enough to do. Does that frustrate you? It does because so much of what we do and the money that we get and the resources that we get are all tied into those grades. The, this, the pub publicity even that we get is so tied into what our grade is, and it just shows one little tiny portion of what's going on in the schools. Um, there's got to be a bigger, a better answer. I don't know what it is. I wish our politicians <laughs> had more idea also. So a more holistic picture. Mm -hmm. Absolutely.